So I have this synthesizer built on a breadboard and it's powered off of one of these little guys right here. The 2N2222 transistor. These are most commonly found in American electronics, but there are some in Britain and other countries as well, but they have a different chip over there. Anyways, this one is very common here. So anyone in America, these are pretty common transistors for anyone who's looking to build one of these. You might be able to salvage one, but they're really cheap. So you might as well buy them if you can't find one. We have this little capacitor right here. This right here is what makes the, the pitch itself. It's what we also have this E10K potentiometer right here, which is what we use to adjust the tone. And if you want, you can even add keys to that, which I will get to adding different keys in a second. And then over here, we have an LED, which is not currently hooked up. And of course, last but definitely not least, we have the speaker itself. Uh, this little guy came out of a pair of headphones and it's pretty loud for a headphone speaker. Oh, to be clear, this does run off of 12 volts, by the way, for anyone who wants to build one at home. And I will leave a link to the video I used to build this in the description down below. Also, for anyone looking to build this, I did make a couple modifications to the circuit that I used to build this. For example, it was used to make a flashing LED, but I replaced the LED with a speaker. And I also changed the value of this little capacitor right here. Another thing before we turn this on, you might notice that this circuit only has two of the transistor legs used, which is a tiny bit odd, but it's repurposing this transistor as an oscillator. All right, enough talking, let's get this thing on. Okay, with the oscillator on, you can hear it humming. And with the adjustment of this potentiometer, the pitch goes up. All right, so here's the more improved circuit I built and I put it on proto boards. And this one has four keys on it, which this board is repurposed from an alarm clock. Four buttons isn't really a lot to make music. So the knob is still here, so you can still turn the volume up and down. And this knob actually came from an eight track player. So a lot of this is repurposed. Speaker over here, this came from a children's toy. So looking at the board, poorly soldered on as this is my first proto board that I've put together myself, but it does have some features. For example, the speaker wires screw into the board. So if I want to switch the speaker out or put an aux jack in later on, I can do that. And I can switch this power supply out for whatever I want as well. So if I need more power or less power or this one just breaks, I can always switch that out too. Looking over here, you can see I have a bunch of resistors soldered in here. Each one is uh, 1K higher than the last one. So this is, right here is 1K, this is 2K, 3K and 4K. Now we have the corresponding wire soldered in, and then the ground wire goes clear back over here. And I once again left the transistor legs sticking up here. And that's because I wanted to show that this really is analog and it's not digital. Once again though, I'm sure you don't want to hear about all the boring electronic stuff. Let's get into playing. And right here, if we turn the pitch, turn it down a little further. Now, it is a pretty simple device, but there's a lot you can add to this. You can always put an indicator light, a switch, an aux port. So there's many mods you can do with this, especially since it's just one chip here. And there's infinite ways that you can make it play music. You could always put capacitive touch pads on here, which is actually what a Hasbro did. And you might wonder what Bo called this product. Well, they called it the Magical Musical Thing. It released in 1979 and was still in production till, now don't quote me on this, but I think 1995. Now, I do plan to make an update video on this at some point as I plan to add a couple indicator lights, a switch, and maybe even an aux jack so we can make some music. And I'll add that to my album of homemade music I've made over the over the last couple months. So yeah, if you'd like to see more videos on stuff like this, comment down below. And if you'd like to see one where I build a synth using an actual oscillator, a crystal oscillator for that matter, comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.